Thanks for tuning into part two of renting your house out and everything you need to know. In this video, I want to talk about what should go into a lease. When a tenant signs a lease, they will usually owe first month's rent, last month's rent, and a security deposit upfront. But be sure to check your state laws to make sure that's the case and if there are any restrictions on how much you can collect for the security deposit. Some states will only let you collect 1.5 months rent as the security deposit. And some states will require you to use the last month's rent that you collected towards the 12th month of their lease. So let's say their lease is for one year and it goes month to month after that. That last month's rent that you collected might need to be used for their 12th month of their lease, even if they continue staying there after that. So again, just check your state laws. To that point, you'll want to set up your lease to either end after the 12 months with an option to renew for another year, should you both agree, or if you'd rather go month to month. Going month to month can be a great option for both landlords and tenants. Let's say you need to sell. Having a month to month lease will allow you to deliver the property vacant, which is what most people want. Or let's say they aren't that great of tenants. At least you're not stuck with them through the end of the lease. Oftentimes, landlords do not increase the monthly rent if the tenant continues to live there. And after a few years, the rent they're paying is significantly below market value. Not to mention, your taxes have most likely gone up during that time. So to combat this, my suggestion is to have an automatic rent increase every year. How much is entirely up to you? I would say a typical rent increase is anywhere between 3 and 5% a year. And finally, you'll want to look through the lease and see if you want to make any additions. For this, you can use your state's standard lease agreement and simply add an addendum with extra wording and terms. For instance, if the standard lease doesn't explicitly say that the tenant cannot change the locks without your permission and giving you a copy of the key, then you'll want to add that in as an addendum. Or maybe the lease doesn't say anything about not smoking in the house or apartment. If that's the case, you might want to add that in the addendum as well. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tap that like button and click here to subscribe. And for more videos, click here and here.